Whether you are a seasoned aspirant looking for that extra edge or a newcomer curious about the possibilities that IIT Jam holds, you are at the right place. We will be breaking down the eligibility requirements, discussing who can apply and offering actionable tips to help you prepare with confidence. The IIT Jam exam is, uh, uh, has been started in 2005 uh, for the purpose of doing masters. MSc especially uh, from IIT. So uh, generally IIT is known uh, for its technical degrees like B.Tech, M.Tech, but uh, IIT is an exam which gives opportunity to a students to do MSc uh, from IIT, whether it's in mathematics or statistics or uh, economics, or there are uh, seven different subjects uh, in which one can uh, do MSc, or there are seven exams, IIT exam, you know, different uh, subject, Offer. So, like especially I teach for IIT exam statistics and IIT exam mathematics and gate mathematics and jam also. So, IIT conduct like jam and gate both exams. So, the jam is exam for the admission into MSc courses. And like uh, courses similar to the courses offered by generally simple universities, uh, it is center university or generally state university. But the uh, benefit of joining IIT through jam is that. So there are a lot of placement opportunities. So those students who missed out IIT JEE exam, who has, so students have one more opportunity to join IIT in MSc course after BSc. So those IIT exam is especially for those students who have BSc degree and want to do MSc from IIT. So generally, uh, IIT exam is conducted in like biotechnology, chemistry, economics, geology, mathematics, and mathematical statistics and physics. So math, physics, chemistry, biotechnology, chemistry, uh, economics, geology, and mathematical statistics. So these are seven subjects in which IIT and uh, conduct uh, IIT exam exam for the admission of MSc. So what is the eligibility? So any student who has BTEC or BSc, like many students I know who have BTEC degree and then after they choose to do MSc again after BTEC. But eligibility is like three year bachelor's degree. So if you have three year bachelor's degree, then you can join master's in IIT degree. Like if you want to do MSc in mathematics, so if you have master's degree in mathematics, uh, bachelor's degree in mathematics, then you can join master's degree in mathematics from IITs actually. So for the statistics especially, so like I uh, currently I'm teaching for IIT exam mathematical statistics. So like in IIT exam mathematical statistics, uh, there is no subject requirement, like it is open to all. So anyone who has bachelor degree can join MSc statistics from IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur, IIT Thiru. But there are only three IITs which offers MSc in statistics. So especially IIT Bombay and IIT Kanpur offers MSc in statistics and IIT Thirupati offers MSc in Mathematics and Statistics through IIT exam, Mathematical Statistics exam. Also, IIT Bombay has one course, MSc in Operation Research, uh, that is also offered through IIT exam, Mathematical Statistics. So, eligibility is just you should have a three-year bachelor degree, and this time there is no requirement of marks. So, like if you are only pass, you have like you have degree of BSc, whether you have 40% marks or 33% marks, you are eligible to apply. So, there is no mask restriction. After COVID, they removed the uh, marks restriction like earlier before COVID it was 55% uh, was required you know, so uh, one should have 55% marks in BSc but after COVID they removed this condition they just uh, want a student if a student is passed in BSc if, if he or she has BSc degree then he or she is eligible for IIT exam exam IIT provide you a good like the two year you will be there in IIT during MSc so we learn a lot more than academics there are very extra curricular activities and any iit is like a big city so in inside iit campus you will find everything so most of us when we join first time for the iit we don't believe like it is college so like you know it is like for example iit kharagpur has total area 2100 acres so anyway now large is iit bombay it's like 500 acres so it is a very big campus so you will find everything there whether as students school even in high school, you will find a lot of extracurricular activities I have been doing. So other than academics, we get to learn a lot of things. Like there are very different uh, programs are going on and all this thing. So during two years, you will learn a lot. And the academic pressure are also generally high than the normal universities. So if you face that challenges, 
and if you go through that challenges then after that you will be able to face any challenge in your life and then once you complete the msc so iit provide a very good placement opportunities it is any iit all iits almost provide the placement opportunities to msc students especially in my field so like statistics field is very demanding in field of data science machine learning this is so especially those who join iit is iit bombay or kanpur in msc statistics so there are 100% placement opportunities so after that you will get a placement in very good mncs and around package of placement package normally it is 10 to 20 lakh for average students if you are a very extraordinary student you may get 40 50 lakh rupees per month for for nm package 40 50 lakh for nm package in a good company so company are also looking for a good uh, employee or good person who can you know, handle their job so there are a lot of placement opportunities even after doing msc you can join phd the same institute or the other institute so iit has one more benefit if you if you do msc from iit and you have 8 plus cgpa so out of 10 if you have cgpa more than 8 you can directly join any iit without qualifying net or gate exam into phd course but you have to appear for the written and interview test so like the people who have been uh, who have who has done msc from any normal university want to join phd in iit so they have to qualify net or gate exam to apply for the phd but the one who do msc from iit so they don't need to qualify net or gate if you have a8 plus cgpa you can directly apply to phd program in any iits and then you will be offered phd admission if you uh, qualify their interview so that is a benefit and the like the the exposure is very good so your confidence level boost in two years so like you uh, you know you you are ready to face challenges of life once you face challenges in iit and the second thing job opportunities third thing is phd opportunities so a lot of people go to abroad after iit because iit has a lot of opportunities during two years people offer or the alumni or different university offer phd positions in foreign universities or jobs in uh, abroad so you can join easily go to abroad for phd or a job because lot of opportunity are there in iit uh, for the different like i said iit exam conduct in seven different subjects so if you are doing iit exam mathematical statistics so in that you have only you have to study statistics and mathematics only the one who are uh, Giving IIT exam exam in mathematics, so who have to study only exam mathematics syllabus, not other subject. Like the one who are asking IIT exam biotechnology, to so the student who uh, are giving IIT exam biotechnology exam, so they have to study math, physics, chemistry, and biology, four subjects. Because so syllabus uh, one can see on IIT exam website detailed syllabus. So what you have to study in what exam? So like the one who have done bsc in mathematics or statistics so they can give exam in mathematics or statistics so respective syllabus are in web, on website so i will tell out pat exam pattern so all the seven subjects have same exam pattern so exam is of 3 hr in that 3 hr uh, you have to answer 100 marks question and 100 marks are divided into three categories so like uh, there are 60 questions of 100 marks so in exam 3 hr exam you have to answer 60 questions in that uh, the 30 questions are mcq multiple choice questions in which only one option out of four will be correct and the next 10 question will be msq multiple select questions uh, in which one or more than one answer may be correct and the next 20 question will be numerical answer type there you will get answer in numbers like 2 3 integer or fractions or decimal so you have to fill the number there whether you are getting a decimal or you are getting integer so you will Uh, fill the answer there are three so total 60 questions are there of 100 marks you have to answer in 3 hours and there these are exam pattern so pattern is three different type of questions are asked mcq msq nat so 30 mcq 10 msq and 20 numerical answer type questions are asked this is the pattern of the examination and in the mcq negative markings are also there so like 30 questions are mcq so in which negative markings are there so for so, Like if it is exam question is of one marks MCQ, so one by three is negative marking. It is if it is two marks MCQ, it will be two by three negative mark. 